Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one module from my brand new first ever Skillshare course called Lifestyle Pacing Tools for Optimizing Your Energy and Achieving Your Goals. Now, I have been working so hard on this and I am so excited to finally be able to share it with you. And I'm gonna share with you in just a minute a way that you can access it completely for free. And if you're new to the channel, I'll share with you the reason why I've made this course and the reason why I know that this type of course and support is so important is that I lived with chronic fatigue syndrome or ME-CFS for about 10 years before finally fully recovering. And in that time and the years since, I learned a lot. While I was unwell, I saw countless doctors, specialists, practitioners. I read hundreds of books. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on various treatments and therapies. And since recovering on this channel, at the time of this recording, I have interviewed about 70 people. These are doctors, experts, authors, researchers, and dozens of people who have also fully recovered from conditions like ME-CFS. And from all of this, I have taken everything that I've learned and I have compiled this into the ultimate support system and toolkit for people who are working on their recovery from chronic health conditions. Okay, so the course is lifestyle pacing. What exactly does that mean? Now, I hear a lot of talk about pacing these days, and I believe I have a kind of different take on pacing than what other people do. I hear a lot of stuff about, you know, staying within your energy envelope and learning to live within your limitations, which can all be very important. But lifestyle pacing, what this course teaches is it's tools and strategies for you to become an expert in three things. So energy awareness. So yes, knowing how much usable energy you actually have. This is important. And most of us actually have no idea how much usable energy we have. And then energy optimization. So how can we get the most out of that energy? What energy vampires do we have? How can we simplify things and focus things so that we are using this valuable resource effectively? And then energy allocation. So where is your energy going? You know, there are studies out there that report that we get 80% of our results in life from 20% of our effort. So what this is saying is that 80% of our effort is wasted. And if you're currently facing a chronic health condition, you probably have very little energy to start with. So you definitely can't afford to be wasting the vast majority of what you have. So the module I'm sharing with you in this video here is one of the strategies that I teach in the course about lifestyle pacing. Now, this specific strategy is one that I've talked about on the channel before, but in the course, even if you've seen the bulk of my videos here, the vast majority of what you're gonna learn about is going to probably be brand new to you. And I call it lifestyle pacing because what this course teaches is tools for you to implement and turn into your lifestyle. These are things that I still use today because true lasting change, the kind of change that really changes the trajectory of our life has three steps. It starts with discipline, from there it turns into habits, and then eventually it becomes a part of our lifestyle. And for this course, for the first 200 people to use the Skillshare affiliate link in this video description, you will be able to access the course for 30 days completely for free. So there will be zero cost to you and I will make a small commission. So if you do give the course a try, I really hope that you find it as helpful as I have and I thank you for the support. So now here's one module from the course. I hope you find it helpful. In this video, we're going to go over a five-step system for ensuring that you know where your energy is being spent, how much energy you're spending on different things, what your biggest energy trainers are, and how to channel and focus whatever usable energy you have on the things that are going to actually help you to reach your health and happiness goals. I always read, and I don't know who to attribute this quote to, but the average person gets 80% of the results in their life from 20% of their effort. So if we are not careful, if we don't have a conscious approach to how we spend our days, this implies that we are wasting 80% of our energy and our time. And when we are working towards big goals, this is really, really going to slow us down. We all have limited energy and limited productive time. So we have to make sure that we're using that time and that energy effectively. All right, so let's dive into this. Step one. Step one, all you're gonna do is simply track your activities for one week. 
you're going to use a table. This can be something simple like an Excel sheet. I'll include an example in this course's resources for you to take a look at. And it's just going to have some time slots down the left hand side and then the days of the week across the top. And then as you go through your week, write down on this table everything that you do. So you can write down an activity in a slot and then just shade all the spaces below it for how long you end up doing it. And what this looks like from person to person will vary wildly. If you are facing chronic health challenges, this is probably going to be a lot of rest and a lot of sleep. And that's okay. We just want to get a picture, an accurate picture of what really does your life look like right now? Because often we overestimate or underestimate how much time and how much energy we're putting into things. So include everything. Surfing social media, watching TV, doing chores, sleeping, and so forth. For one full week, just track. Now step two is to make a list of all the things that you suspect might help you get closer to your health and happiness goals. Things, whether you're currently doing them right now or not. Things that in a perfect world, if it allowed you to do everything that you wanted to do, these are the key important things that you feel are going to get you where you're trying to go. This might be things like getting more sleep or meditating more often or researching more about the things and the goals that you're trying to achieve, putting more focus on diet, spending more time in nature, spending more time on movement or exercise, whatever these things are for you, seeking out different therapies, different programs, just that list of in a perfect world, everything you'd love to be doing, write it down. Now steps three through five are going to happen after you've tracked one full week of your life, but we'll go through them now. You can take some notes so you're ready to go once you have that full week of tracking in front of you. So what you're going to do with step three is you're going to go through that table of all of your activities that you've tracked for the week, and you're going to highlight every single thing that was draining for you. Everything on that table that was using up your energy. These could be things you enjoy, things you don't enjoy, things that are helping you get towards your goals, things that are not, just anything that is using your energy, highlight it on that chart. So if things like sleeping or meditating don't drain your energy, leave them alone. But if responding to DMs, scrolling social media, watching the news, doing laundry, exercising, these things take up energy, then you highlight them. Now step four is to look at all those highlighted items and circle the ones that you feel are actively helping you get towards your health and happiness goals. So even though they're draining, you suspect that they're getting you somewhere. And then you're gonna look at the rest of the items that are highlighted that are not circled. And these are the ones we're gonna pay attention to right now. These are the things that even though they might be helping you with other goals, like doing laundry helps you achieve your goal of having clean clothes, they're not specifically helping you with your health or whatever specific goals you're trying to tackle right now. Or they might be complete time wasters, things like perhaps scrolling social media, if you think that's a time waster. Whatever they are, they are things that are taking your energy and not getting you any closer to your specific health or happiness goals that you are working on right now. And you're gonna take all those highlighted, not circled items, and you're gonna write them out right now. Make a list of every one of those things from that week that you tracked, that took up your energy, that were not helping you get to your goals. And once you've got these listed out, you're gonna look at each one and list next to it a way that you can reduce or eliminate this activity from your life. Some things can probably just be eliminated or at the very least severely restricted. And for the things that can be eliminated next to them, I want you to brainstorm ways to reduce the amount of energy and space they take up in your life. So if this is around food, can you make your meal simpler? Can you get a meal delivery service? Can you ask a friend or a relative to help out with this and maybe drop off some meals every week? If it's around cleaning and housework, can you hire someone to come in and help with some of that? Can you ask somebody to help you? Can you perhaps just lower your standards? Maybe you don't need to clean as often as you think you do. Maybe a little bit of mess is okay if it means you have more time and more energy to devote to the really important things in your life. This exercise is about taking charge 
of our life, instead of letting our life just happen to us, instead of just being like a puppet that's pulled in all these different directions by all these different people and activities. And we really have no control over what that looks like. So get creative and be ruthless. Things that are not serving your big goals in life right now are not your priority. And step five is going to be to take another blank weekly tracking chart, but this one is going to be a planning chart. So you're gonna do this in advance. You're gonna map it out and write it out how you would like it to look. And you're gonna try and fill it with as many of those items that you listed out in the previous step of the things that you feel are actively helping you get towards your goals. Now, if you're facing health challenges right now, things like rest and sleep will likely be a big part of that plan. And that's okay, that's good. That is part of pacing. That's how you ensure that you're getting the rest and the downtime and the recharging time that you need and not running yourself into the ground and leaving yourself with nothing to use for working on your goals. And if you find lately that you've been running on an energy deficit, you're likely going to need to increase the amount of time on this table that is devoted to rest and sleep. Because clearly before you weren't getting enough. And don't make things too tight. Leave a little wiggle room in this plan because unexpected things come up and have flexibility, but also be strict about it. Act as if your life depends on you following this plan because it does. The course of your life does depend on how you spend your time and where you put your energy. So things like timers and alarm clocks should become your new best friend. It's very helpful to set a timer if you've perhaps allowed yourself some social media time each day, however long that might be, set a timer so you don't go over. And then you have that audible interruption to break you out of what you're doing and remind you, okay, it's time to stop. And you'll likely have to adjust and tweak the schedule as you go, that's okay. Just having a schedule and having a plan allows you to take back some control in your life. The point is to just not let your days happen to you that you are in control, you dictate the agenda, put your ego aside, the people around you will understand, people will adjust, follow it, make yourself a priority, stick to it as best as you can, and you will be amazed at how much this can help. that's it. So that's one piece of this course. What the course is, is a series of short, to the point, easily digestible videos with tools and strategies to help keep you on track on your healing journey, even on the days that you don't feel like it, and maybe even have a little bit of fun in the process. So if you're looking for more insights, strategies, and tools to help you to assess, optimize, and allocate your energy towards the things that are going to help you to achieve your goals, check out the Skillshare link in the video description and you can access it for 30 days completely for free. Whatever you're facing right now, keep going. You have totally got this. And I hope you find the course helpful and thank you for the support.